Hello, welcome back to Paul's Racing Channel to the Ultimate Racing League. So, third and final race here at the Tokyo Expressway East Clockwise Circuit here in League 3. Reverse grid going into this 30 minute race. So, here we go. Here's the grid. We've got Slowpoke in pole position. We've got Firepower in second, Graham in third, Smokey in fourth, Sideways in fifth, Biggie sixth, Potsy seventh, Vex in eighth, Woody in ninth, M. Bailey in tenth, Aussie in eleventh. Brisbane 12th, Phil Mack in 13th, and Aaron in 14th. Watch those lights, here we go. Have a longy cold there for the guys, but they're away, finally. It's like Sideways got quite a good start, along with uh, Big E, already piling on the pressure. And what can the championship boys do from the back? I think it's night time now here in Tokyo. So that just adds a little bit more drama to the round. Let's see if I can be a little bit more professional in this uh, in this race. It's a completely nosed up race two with the commentary, but I'm sure it was entertaining for you. So firepower then, we'll have a look at Slowpoke. But no, it still remains in second, all around there nicely. Yeah, all cl close, but clean. Bit of touchy at the back there. Phil Mac and Bailey just getting out of shape a little bit, but all good. Winner of race two there, Aaron. Even though we didn't see him win it, but uh, apologies, Aaron, but he did win it. So that was a good good race by him in the end. In 14th place now. Let's see what he can do to get through the field. Spray poke. Holding off the rest with firepower, who's uh, trying to go with him. In second, Biggie's got himself to third. And it's Graham, Smokey, Potsy, M. Bailey. He's made his way through. Actually got himself to seventh now. Aussie dropped back to uh, ninth. Brisbane's got through as well to eighth place. So Aussie back to ninth. So a couple of the uh, boys that are at the back coming through now. Aussie, as I say, ninth place. There's Phil Mack in tenth. Then Aaron in eleventh. So again, Made up a couple of spots there, sideways in 12th and then Vex with a penalty, so that'd be the reason then, reason why with Woody as well, three seconds for him. So there's the two with the penalties, so that's why the boys have got through. Now firepower, let's see what he can do. Can he get close to Slowpoke, get into his slip and uh, take that lead? Well, the rain's held off as well, actually, and we were expecting some rain, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't happen. It didn't. Uh, we're not around this uh, area anyway. Probably quite localised, so that's all good. We wouldn't have wanted darkness and rain, although you never know what's up there in them clouds. Fire power then. Still in second. We got Graham up to third. Got ahead of Biggie. So Graham's putting on a good show at the moment. Oh, oh, commentator's curse. Sorry, Graham, and one and a half. Why not? Sorry about that, mate. So I shouldn't have opened my mouth, but uh, he's going to be probably at the back by the time he manages to face the correct way. Because there's Vex going through and Woody's gone through. So unfortunate for Graham. Slowpoke, though, still holding it for a firepower in second. Potsy up to third. Biggie, fourth. Phil Mack has already got through and has gone past Brisbane as well. So Phil Mack doing well to get up to fifth. Brisbane Oak, they're still battling here, these two. This is in the middle of all the rest of the traffic as well. It's not like they're on their own. Oh, a bit of a touch now. Who's that? Is there someone who's at the barrier there? Well, if they did, they got away with no penalties. It's all close, but all still running. That's what we like to see. Little bit of rubbing now and then. That's racing, as they say. What's the hairpin? How we looking as Brisbane has a look at Phil Mac. Wasn't far enough up there to get that done. Biggie right behind Brisbane. It's all still very close and personal up here. Potsy is the leader of the gang here. 
the slow poker firepower some way ahead of these on their own. So slow poke now is in danger of losing out to Phil because he's going to be allowing them to have a bit of his slip and there you go Phil's going to be right on the outside of him up into third spot Brisbane will probably have a little bit of that as well if he's close enough let's have a look yeah he's close enough he's probably just about in range now here we go so we're going to try and maybe get a double slip from him and Phil actually looks like Potts is fighting back up here at turn one he certainly is but he hasn't got past Phil not many people do get past Phil when he's defending and Brisbane attacks Potts here we go Brisbane's going to go on the outside of him it's the fourth at least for the moment but still side by side now someone's going to have to give down here at the bridge left hander Potts is in the you could say the correct position but he just let off he let Brisbane have it he said you know I'm not fighting with you you have it I'll, you know what I'll sit in fifth so Potts he's back in the fifth now Brisbane up to fourth Biggie sixth Aaron with a one and a half there so that's not going to uh, help him push forward thankfully though we're only five minutes in oh who's that Biggie he went really wide Actually, he was just taking it wide, full pelt round there, you can't. As Aaron goes up the inside of him, he gets that done, but of course he's going to lose what he's just gained. I'll give him back that one and a half. He'll lose to Aussie as well, so he's going to go be going back to eighth place, Aaron, as Biggie has a look up the inside. He did that well actually, just pulled out at the last minute. He hasn't got it done yet, but he will because Aaron's going to keep over to the left. He's going to lose it out to Ozzy as well. Could go back to ninth here actually, Aaron. Seventh, eighth, yeah, he's back to ninth. So Ozzy goes through as well. So the two Corvettes, Biggie and Ozzy. And now sixth and seventh, there is a little bit of teamwork here. They're going to work off the Potsy as well ahead of them. Let's see what they can do. Pulls out now, does Aussie. He's got his teammate. He hasn't got Potsy yet, though. Oh, he hasn't got his teammate, actually. Still in sixth, but he's up the inside now. Yeah, Biggie will let him have that. There you go, sixth for him. Biggie back to seventh. Potsy, though, still in fifth. And we've got Ben Bailey in eighth. Not had his... Uh, best night tonight in terms of... Uh, top end results but he's been in the, the top top 10 anyway finishing but maybe not the quickest round here in that Citroen Aaron there in ninth after his penalty so uh, he's going to be dropping back a little bit here so he's going to have to see what he can do remember we've got the uh, the stop as well so that will alter things obviously sideways in 10th place under attack from Smokey in 11th so what can Smokey do? We know the Sylvia's pretty quick around here. There's Vex going through shot in 12th. Smokey can't, uh, can't lay a finger on sideways at the minute. So it remains in 11th. Now let's see what happens down here at the hairpin. Doesn't look close enough at the moment, does he? But what sort of drive can he get out of the left-hander down the hill? No, he's not close enough there. That'll be a lunge and a half if he goes for that. So he's still going to be in 11th place. Nice and tight from Smokey, but a bit wider from sideways. But actually, Smokey done well there. Still in 11th, but again, good drive. So that could change. Vex in 12th. We've got Woody. He's got a one and a half second penalty there in 13th with Graham in 14th some way back is Graham. So Phil McDo's taking out the lead off of Slowpoke, who in fairness to him is still in second place. 
he's not giving him that lead, is he? He's trying his best to get that back, his slow poke. Brisbane in third. A slow poke doing all he can, battling hard to try and stay with Phil, but it feels just looks like got some more pace in that Ferrari. First for Phil, second for Slowpoke, third for Brisbane. The firepower still up there in fourth. Good showing for him so far. I'm not going to say anything. I know what happened to Graham. So I'm not going to say a word about anybody. Not specifically, anyway. So there he is coming round the left hander. Firepower up the hill. Through the fast right and left. Quite a lot of brake there, fine power. Slowed his car right down to get around that right hand, and that's allowed Ozzy to get right into his boot. Right up his bum now, and Ozzy will certainly attack down here at the hairpin. Took a lot of brake, didn't he? Fire power. Just needs a dab round there. Oh, he's still got that fifth though, uh, that fourth. So fair play to him. But he took a just a little dab to go through there, you don't need to uh, press that brake quite as hard. But, fourth it is still, Ozzy in fifth, Bailey is now creeping onto the back of these into sixth place. Aaron just off the back of them in seventh as well. Ozzy now. What can he do up at turn one? Getting closer and closer, but I think he's going to be too far back there. Firepower get round the corner. No, not with that in the barrier. That's going to allow, surely allow Ozzy. Well, I think they both had a moment actually. Yeah, he was lucky there, firepower, because Ozzy had another moment as well. And here's the barrier again, there's firepower. Now Ozzy on him, because Bailey's caught up because they both made a little error. But Ozzy's going to attack Firepower now and he's up the inside. Plenty of uh, room given by Firepower. Maybe too much. But fifth place it is and he's going to allow Bailey through as well. Keep him well out of the way, his Firepower. So he just drops him behind into sixth place. Got to be careful though. Don't want to be uh, giving too many spots away. I mean, we're nearly halfway through already, but got Aaron creeping up behind him as well. There he is. Say creeping. It's a very fast creep. Oh, now again, loses a lot of time around there. Firepower that's allowed Aaron to get right up behind him, and it's going to attack down here at the hairpin. Similar to what happened last time. Certainly going to have a look. I would have thought. No. Okay. No firepower is pretty good on the brakes here. Actually, what's the exit like here? If Aaron can gets onto the back of him, he's surely going to get him along the straight. So Firepower loses it up on the, the top section, doesn't he? But then he does gain, he's good on the brakes at the hairpin. But Aaron will be using all he can off of Firepower here, and he's going to pull out now. Go up the outside, that will be sixth spot. By a nose. It'll certainly take it up here at turn one. If firepower just hasn't got enough to get back at him, I don't think. No, so we're up to sixth. So let's have a quick look at our leaders and I'll run through the field again. So there's Phil Mack. Our leader in first. He is pulling away nicely. Brisbane's got himself up in the second spot. So now he'll be chasing down Phil with a quarter of an hour left in the race. Slowpoke third, doing well. He was on the pole position, remember, so he's only dropped a couple of spots and we're a quarter of the way, or half the way through, sorry. 
So actually, doing all right. Aussie in fourth place. Then Bailey in fifth. Aaron in sixth place. Firepower in seventh. Oh, one and a half second. He's had some penalties tonight as firepower. Fortunately for him, there's no one behind him, so he's not going to lose anything. Apart from time. Smoky Tom in eighth spot. Again, he's on his own a little bit there. Bex in ninth, but he's closely followed by Woody in tenth, so it's a little battle here for the knees two. Let's see how this uh, what happens here down at the hairpin. Like Woody's close enough to attack at the moment. No, he's way back there. So Vex will keep that ninth spot for now. As Phil, our leader, comes in to start his stop. That allows Brisbane in. So we've Phil Mack and Slowpoke. That's second and third are in. So here comes the uh, the stoppers. Woody there in 10th still behind Vex. And we've got Biggie in 11th. 12th is Potsy. 13th for sideways. Graham in 14th. There won't be no change back there, I don't think, for Graham. Bit of a disastrous race, this race three just wants to see it out now, I think. But Brisbane is our leader, of course, hasn't come in. But how much of a gap can he put on the rest before we can take his? This is where you need to try and get a flyer in if you can to try and get the undercut when it comes to going in yourself. It's a good lap here, good clean lap. any mistakes to try and get a bigger gap as he possibly can with that transition time that it will take to go through the pits to come in have your service and get out we will see there's then Bailey in second he hasn't been in along with Aaron so none of these have been in so they're all going to be due in, in the next three, four minutes before the uh, pit window shuts. But there's our effective leader, Phil, who actually isn't that far behind, so he might actually be okay here. We watch that tower on the left. And uh, we'll see if Brisbane and the others do come in because Phil, oh, he's had a, now that's not gonna help. Now that's uh, put paid to that. That could be it for Phil. Three seconds. Oh, and he's going to be in the way a little bit. He's going to have to. Yeah, he's had the whole field coming through. He's all the way back to seventh with three seconds as well. So that's it. I think that might prove the moment where he might lose this race now. Bailey's coming in. Aaron's coming in. So your top three are in. Woody, they've obviously still going to come in as well. So who's our next one who's been in? Well, actually, it looks like Slowpoke, who was out. Pole man could well be our leader because Woody's going to be coming in. There he goes. Slowpoke and Aussie are going to stay out because they've been in. No, Brisbane's out. So, how far ahead of him is he? Actually, quite a way out before. I was just quite surprised. So, he has uh, kept that lead, Brisbane. So, uh, and he's got a big lead actually. So, actually, he played the blinder, but it wouldn't have been the same had Phil not at a moment. Slow poke in second, so they did manage to get past the likes of Aaron Bailey. It's so up to second and third for these two. Don't think they're going to be catching Brisbane, though. No. With respect to these two, certainly if they start fighting, they won't be. They need to start to work together, even though they're not teammates. Just work together, try and get that gap back to Brisbane up top but of course as a driver myself I just see it as no I want that other position I want that you know I'm going to get ahead of you rather than trying to work together some drivers can do that others they just want to be leading don't they so slow post second Aussie in third Aaron now 
and then Bailey have caught up these two as they still battle it out. This is uh, going to slow them up. These other two, Aaron and Bailey, are going to be on them. They really are. Aaron's going to be eyeing up third spot from Aussie here. Down here at the airpin, he's going to get him. Ball's out now. Or perhaps he doesn't. No, good defended by Aussie. Now, what sort of exit can Aaron get? Well, it's all pretty much the same now. Pretty good from all of them, but it's a little train developing now. Aussie heading it up. Uh, sorry, Slowpoke heading it up in second. Aussie third, Aaron fourth, and Bailey in fifth. And Phil could be kicking himself in sixth place. Not that far behind, but I still think we're 10 minutes to go. That's a tough ask to get himself back onto the back of these. But it could have been a whole lot better for him. So we head up back to these lot. So they come up to turn one. Slowpoke still holding it in. Second Aussie going to have a look. He's going to get up into second spot, surely. Yeah, lovely double slip from him. Going to keep it there in second. Surely he will. He does. And Aaron gets through as well on Slowpoke. So now Slowpoke just starting to fade a little bit. Got these... Uh, guys that are caught and that have come up and now he's going to be also under pressure from M Bailey. So got to be a bit careful not to lose another spot. Slowpoke that is. Holding his own at the moment though. Looks like he's still putting a bit of pressure on Aaron. So come up under the bridge. Starting to settle a little bit. Aussie in second, Aaron third, Slowpoke fourth, then Bailey. Phil Mack in sixth place, Stokey Tom. And there he is in seventh. Bit of firepower in eighth. Woody ninth. Oh, that could be a penalty for Vex in tenth. Does he meet the barrier? No. But he slowed him down. He's under pressure from sideways. Who's going to have a have a go? But not round the outside there. Look at these two, absolutely on it. Vex covering the inside. Crisscross here, maybe from sideways. Down the inside now. Oh, tried it, but Vex doing a good defending job through there. Down to the hairpin now. What can Vex do? Can he keep him behind here or oh, is sideways? Gonna get him? No. Vex is gonna keep him where he is. Oh, great, this going red hot now. So illuminate the night sky. Biggie in 12th, Potsy 13th. Obviously, one of the Favourite parking, passing, not parking, passing spots. The hairpin, obviously. After coming down at such high speed into it, it's a, an obvious place. As we look at our leader, who's on his own, and I think he's going to get his second victory of the night here at Tokyo Expressway. These lot though, still hasn't been decided who's what. Slowpoke's lost out to Bailey now, he's down to fifth, but uh, this second, third and fourth spots are still up for grabs. Could be anybody's. As we see at the moment, Slowpoke's not out of it either, even though he's got back to fifth. Up the hill into the right-hander. Swing it round, round the left. Flat through there, not a problem whatsoever. Slowpoke now just losing touch with these. But this is going to go right down to the end. As Bailey has a, a look up the inside of Aussie, does was there a little touch here, or did he just go wide, Aussie? Or whatever happened, he's back to fourth spot. Bailey did get through.
So Bailey, after an average night, is now up into the top three. Fancy's a bit of the top two, though, at the moment. He could still get it and see what he's like in the slip of Aaron as they head up towards turn one. Is he going to get closer? Not as, not as much as I thought. Oh, Aaron really defended. Oh, and some little touch, I think. I see some smoke come up, and it might have been a little tag at the back of Aaron there from M. Bailey. Ozzy would be rubbing his hands at this point. Um, obviously, M. Bailey just held back a little bit there after his tag on the back of Aaron. Just acknowledged the fact that he touched him unintentionally. So Aaron, it still is in second spot, and Bailey in third, Aussie fourth. So it's still not it's not really decided in them spots, is it? Slowpoke is uh, dying off a little bit there in fifth place. Phil Mack in sixth. Smokey in seventh. Woody and Firepower eighth, ninth. So we head into the last four minutes now. Oh, Firepower just ran it wide into there to see him running a little bit wide. Going to get away with it without any penalties. Sideways in 10th, still under pressure, still fighting it with Vex in 11th. Look at this now, 12th and 13th. Potsy's got past Big E. But there's a little battle going on here, so we've got a battle between Sideways and Vex in 10th and 11th and here between Potsy and Biggie in 12th and 13th as we head into the closing stages. Oh, and a bit wide there, Biggie. So that's that battle that's fizzled out. Potsy's going to sigh of relief when he looks back into his uh, mirrors. Sideways had a little moment there, a little squiggle. So Vex now, he's going to be on to the back of him. Let's see how this looks. Doesn't take a lot. You only got to have a little nibble at the barrier and uh, you lose a lot of time as Vex comes up the outside of Sideways as they cross the line now to start lap 13. Vex has got it at the moment. About half a car's length. A sideways, look at this, foot to the floor, both of these. Literally through the carpet, their foot. I doubt there's carpet in these cars, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, and it's. Max is in the best position, no. Sideways is not, certainly not giving it to him, but it's clean. He does get it though, gets it done, vexed. So up to 10th he goes, what a great battle between them two. And up ahead of them, look at this battle between Firepower and Smokey. I don't know who's attacking who, I think it's Firepower attacking Smokey as it goes. So all the little battles are just coming to the fore now as we go into the final couple of minutes. Been another cracking race, or uh, cracking rounds uh, here tonight from League 3 as the Ultimate Racing League. No more than you'd expect, really. These boys know each other now after a long season. Five weeks in. Another three to go. Let's have a quick look at what our leader's doing. Well, he's just flying up there, isn't he? What can we say? Not holding that fastest lap, though, at the moment. Then Bailey's got that, a 208.021. There's our leader anyway, Aaron in second still who's got away from them all now. So I think he's going to be settling for second as we head into the, the final minute. This will be the final lap, of course. Aussie third, Slowpoke in fourth. So he's managed to get to stay in fourth ahead of Phil. He's up to fifth now, but Bailey is dropped back to sixth, hasn't he? So he's had a moment, a few scuffs out on his car. So somewhere over the last lap or two, he's had a moment. 
and he was on that, up on that podium space. He was actually fighting, wasn't he, to get into that second spot. So a big moment somewhere to lose three spots or four places, whatever way you want to look at it. It's all settled out at the front. And all these other battles doing back here. Firepower still hassling. Yeah, it's all settled back here now, isn't it? So let's go and we might as well stay with our leader. And what will be our double winner here at Tokyo Expressway into Brisbane as he comes round the final hairpin. We'll head along the straight and across the start and finish to finish this third race and victory on the top spot. Congratulations to Brisbane. Two out of two. Well done, Aaron. We'll get a well deserved second there. Ozzy with a good third place, he'll be happy with that on the podium in the end. Phil Mack, well, not a disaster actually in the end. Could have been a lot better for him, of course, but fourth will do. Slowpoke got that fifth. And Bailey, sixth, should have been more for him. He'll be saying to himself, Woody will come in in seventh. Ahead of Smokey Tom in eighth spot. Firepower will finish it in ninth. Vex in tenth. Sideways will come in in eleventh spot. He's dropped some way back, hasn't he? Sideways off the back of Vex. But he's going to get 11th in the end. With Potsy in 12th spot. Ahead of Biggie. He's going to take that 13th. And we know Graham, after his disastrous start, will come in in 14th. So there's your race three. There's your round five. Hope you enjoyed the, all the action to, tonight. Apologies for my poor commentary there in race two uh, but I hope you enjoyed it all anyway join me again soon for round six and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you then